attribute specifies the name of an input element. The name attribute is used to reference elements in sending form or referencing in data. So for this example, I am putting their proper name. So for this password, I'm using the password. The second one, the last name is that I will be or I use last name and at the same time on the first name, I use the first name. Likewise, on the form, on the action, this is where will be the destination of this data. So save the file and then open your browser. And then for this one, I'm going to set sample first name. And then I have here with me on the last name, sample last name, and then the password, I'll be typing in sample password. And then I'll be clicking submit. So watch on the URL, so I'm going to do copy and paste this one and paste it into my text editor and then paste it here let's extract the the data that we have actually copied so this one so at first you need to look at the the uh, first name so this is the name already of the first text box this is of course the first name and this is what we have inserted or inputted so this is what we actually submitted and of course, the next one will be on the last name, which we put on the last name. And this is, of course, the last name input. And lastly, we have the name password and then the password up here and the word that we have actually inputted or submitted. And then in the first one, this is, of course, where the data are sent into. So this is, of course, the destination. In my last lecture, I actually explained this one and this is, of course, very important particularly in the form. The action attribute is very important because this is the destination of the form. And also you need to understand that the name attribute is very important. This will be the name where the data will be saved or will be sent into your database.